Okay guys, well, I just, uh, I've been getting the garage cleaned up. Everything's nice and put away. Got all the tools all organized and everything's looking crisp. But uh, we're gonna get ready to um, do some more product uh, first looks. Got a nice new logo back here on the tool wall. We're gonna take a look at some more Baja Design stuff for Ian's X3. Uh, these are some S1 light kits to go in the front headlights. These are the adapters. You can kind of see them through there. Uh, we got a Rugged Radios uh, dash kit. So we're going to get that video rolling. We got to do some B-roll and whatnot, some close-up shots for you guys. And uh, we have the fire extinguisher uh, story to do. So we're going to do some B-roll for that today as well. And uh, shop's clean, products are ready to shoot, so we're going to get going. So I just went to Fred Meyer and they actually had one Target light on their website just like Walmart's but we got what we need now off to Ian's Hey man you got the goods you got the good stuff I don't know what is the good stuff you got the uh butt wipes the TP? You got the TP for my brung hole. <laughs> You're gonna have to make do with socks, buddy. <laughs> Welcome back to the Side by Side Guys Off Road Podcast. I'm Big Z. I'm still Ian with full throttle battery. Excited to have Blake Wilkie on the uh, call today. Morning. The Shred Ambassador. So out here getting ready to do a shoot for the Kawasaki KRX and Talon review. And this kind of crap always screws up the shot. So pick up your trash, people. So we're out here at Westside Motorsports doing a photo shoot for the Talon 1000X and the Kawasaki KRX 1000. Uh, we've only had a few minutes to pull them out here and take some photos so far. Um, what are your initial impressions of uh, the Talon that you've been? So I drove it from there to here. This thing, <laughs> this thing is a total, this is a 100% total game honest opinion yeah. and full review total game changer. of the talent. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Game changer, 100%. You know, shooting it, my knees haven't had such a workout since. Don't post that. <laughs> These two actually are the most comfortable side by sides I've ever jumped in in terms of getting in and out. So that's that's a positive. Yeah. <laughs> I noticed that the uh, KRX is much more spacious than the Talon. Uh, we'll go through a full discussion on that later. Yeah, I don't want to get too crazy on it until we get a chance to rip them. But uh, we got a little track out here that we're going to rip them on. We're probably going to wind up getting lawnmower type dirty. So uh, yeah. It's definitely going to be dusty. Yeah, it's going to get a little dirty. It's the first warm day we've had up here in the Northwest that I can think of. That's above 75-ish. Yeah, but it's still blowing 20 miles an hour. It's still blowing, so uh, it'll be it'll be a challenge to keep the dust down. Yeah. But uh, we're going to do a full walk around video on the Talon. We're going to do a full walk around on the KRX. Uh, go through all the specs and details, um, and uh, yeah, it should be a good time. We want to say thank you to Westside Motorsports for letting us come out here and touch their machines. 
Um, they've been real generous with giving us free reign of the place. So, yeah. formerly West Side Honda, now West Side everything. <laughs> they uh, do have just about everything on their lot, and they have a I ton of machines. I can't think anything they don't have. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyways, we're gonna get to it before the sun uh, kills us and burns us up to a crisp. So, I, I, I made the right move and didn't bring sunblock today. So, <laughs> yeah. so anyways, uh, should be a good time, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. I'd say the Terex is uh, probably, I'm in the passenger seat right now, probably the most comfortable side-by-side -side I've been in. How about you? Nice and roomy. Yep. You know, these 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 shoulders on the doors thought they'd be weird, but it's kind of natural for it just to sit there like that. Yeah. And the doors yeah. being finished in here, you have your armrest here. You have well, if you look nice at, squishy seats. If you look at the room, I'm 6'4", and you're 6'2", 6'3", right? I'm 6'2", all torso, you're you're taller, all leg. Yeah, yeah, plenty of room, plenty of room. Yeah, actually, does the seat go back? No, nope, it's all the way back. Yeah. You got about 10 inches behind you with the seat all the way back, and yeah. you got about, <clears throat> I'd say about almost a foot and a half, two feet with it all the way forward. Yeah, I could ride in this thing all day, piece of cake. Yeah, dead pedals are in a decent place. A little bit, a little bit close on the driver's side, but yeah, yeah. But there's plenty of leg room. I am all the way back and feeling like I, I uh, might want it to have more, one more click. But well, I haven't driven it yet. Have any issues with seeing over the fender there? You, you can, know, the, you can see the wheel. The view is interesting because you actually lean back further than you think you would right. in these seats. So they're more of like a Can Am like tilt back and so in this position i can see the corner of the wheel and i can see fairly good in front of the center of the car but yeah there's definitely a big ridge here on the fenders where you don't see anything i don't want to use the word distracting because i haven't driven it yet um but we'll see we'll see it is it's very noticeable you know the it's, slope the slope on the hood is very similar to the yxz you see right down a yxz but then you've got the the fenders on this thing that are popped up a little bit the thing i notice is that the dash is further forward yeah than the yxz so that sight line seems like it's like the yxz but actually in actuality it's more uh more blocking than it is viewing so it's, it's deceptive because these, these fender wells they slope down to give you uh, an idea of like you're seeing down closer to the front but you're actually it's actually blocking it a little bit yeah today's the first sunny day that we've actually had out here uh i did buy some sunscreen did you yeah, yeah. you gotta protect those pasty whites yeah how many ticks have you knocked off yourself yet i'm not sure but i actually had a earwig going on my leg i had to shake out i weird. just i just hit a tick off the dash yeah lots and, of ticks out here and i've had about two or three on me so that time of year yeah yeah, I like there's good headroom here in the cage. I don't feel like I'm going to be hitting it, uh, being a taller person. That's something I always think about. But when I'm driving, I have my arms forward, and I, I, there's probably a good six to eight inches behind me of, yeah. before it hits the seat. I'm more of an upright driver. Come, I'm doing this the whole time. Yeah. So Yeah, that, that is something I would want on this thing from the factory would be a roof. A roof so, would be nice yeah. on a hot day. For sure. Um, and they have all sorts of packages you can buy right. straight from the factory. So we've talked before on the podcast about the manufacturers going more to you, the base car and then you add on the package at the dealership and uh, they treat it like a model, like a trim level. Yeah. Um, and so like on this car, you can get the speakers, the roof, the winches, all that stuff. And instead of a three month warranty on those accessories, you get a six month warranty. And that six month warranty also applies to the machine as well. So. Yeah. Um, it's kind of nice because it brings the accessories up to the vehicle's warranty level. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking forward to driving these things. Uh, I'll probably be, probably be behind the wheel within the next hour or two, somewhere in there. And uh, Westside's got a couple nice bulls for us to throw these into, a couple nice ruts as well. Uh, 
some, some decent features, some ditches to go through. Uh, it looks like unintentionally they made me a nice little off-camber uh, off corner to, to give a whirl, but yeah, looking forward to it, man. Yeah, nothing too crazy out here. Obviously, it's a customer test track, but uh, we're really just wanting to see how they feel, how they accelerate, how they decelerate how they turn going to corners. One thing that I'm actually really excited to check out is uh, most people say that the Honda Talon is the roughest riding stock side by side in existence right now, almost to the point where it's a fault. Now, when I used to, when I used to ride motocross, all my settings were on full stiff. Like I wanted a lot of feedback. I wanted that thing. I, I'm really interested to see if it's the kidney breaker that everybody says it is, but we'll see. I have a feeling the YXZ still holds that crown. Yeah, and, but, the, uh, and the YXZ was fine for me. Like, it didn't bug me a bit. And it comes down to settings if you adjust the sure. shocks. And... Yeah, and that's another thing that the shocks on this thing have those uh, uh, switches on them. I think you've got three settings to play with. and I, So they have three clickers. Yeah, and I think we plan on using all three at one point or another, giving them a check and having some fun. Yeah, so. it'd be interesting to get our hands on the uh, live valve version after this version right. and seeing how it compares. Right. Well, if, the, if these guys will play ball, the next rig I'm going to ask to drive is the XP Pro. So. <laughs> Yeah. The Pro XP, and then uh, another one would be interesting is the uh, the Maverick Sport Trail Sport. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I I think that that is a really underrated rig. I'm really excited about that thing. Yeah, yeah. that should be interesting. So. Yeah, there's lots. Of, they have all sorts of rigs here, so we get we get to kind of feel our way through. And I'm actually interested to see how the utility sides compare, the Rangers and the 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 mules and the pioneers and all that stuff i think that's an interesting uh thing too you know it's not made to be a utility rig but i actually think we're sitting in probably what's going to go down as one of the best utility rigs out there i, I think the cowie is uh just a awesome dual sport potentially but it's we'll let a, you know it's got a decent bed uh system in the back it's got a lot of utility behind the seats yeah um but uh yeah i think it'd be interesting to see what what design changes in the in, in the KRX f trickle down to the other Terex, if they even continue those lines, and then maybe even into the mules and other utility uh, variants. Yeah, yeah. See you out there.